Does it make any sense to have dietary recommendations for a structural problem like scoliosis? What about a neurological problem? What about if it is based on a genetic predisposition? What effect do environmental factors have on the expression of a genetic weakness? We know that scoliosis is influenced by genetics. We also know that genetic weaknesses are primarily potential problems that may or may not be turned on by external factors, so-called epigenetic factors. Consider this. When pregnant rats were fed a fatty diet, both their daughters and granddaughters proved to be at greater risk of breast cancer. In fact, even if the daughters of the first generation of rats ate healthily, their offspring, the third generation, were still at greater risk of disease. According to new scientists, a fatty diet may cause epigenetic DNA modifications that can be passed on to future generations. When this information is taken into consideration, it makes a lot of sense to build up the natural recuperative powers of the body and avoid dietary insults that would weaken the body or stimulate the expression of a genetically programmed weakness like scoliosis. Attached to this video are my recommendations for scoliosis patients with regard to diet and nutrition. Please have a look at it and make some comments. Let me know what you think.